We're here in Congress with Dr. Chandra Hassan, who uh, works with Med Global and was in Gaza uh, earlier this year. And I just wanted to ask him, what was your experience like there? Um, it was uh, horror. Uh, I have been to other conflict zones like uh, Ukraine and Syria, but this was a uh, post-apocalyptic feeling. Uh, we witnessed a massacre, even though we went there to, to help with mass casualty events. So overwhelming number of uh, killed were children and women. And now you're in Congress. What are you asking Congress to do? Uh, we have a few asks here. Number one, we want this seriously wounded Palestinian people uh, to be allowed to be evacuated for treatment abroad without any restrictions. Uh, at, at the moment, there's a lot of restrictions. Uh, we are having more than 14,000 injured, seriously injured people that needs to be evacuated. The second ask is to let uh, healthcare staff, doctors and nurses, without any restriction to go in and they should be allowed to take as many um, medical supplies and humanitarian aid they could take. There are some restrictions on that too. Also, there's the latest restriction on American physicians and nurses of any Palestinian heritage uh, being banned. Uh, that's against the US visa waiver program, so that should be addressed as well. And I know we, uh, we said that um, you're doing the quote, easy asks and we're doing the harder ones but i'm sure we're on the same page uh in which we say stop sending the weapons because we need to stop the mass casualties and the only way to do that is to stop sending bombs that are killing so many people i have one more ask uh, nasser hospital uh, was uh, attacked and destroyed by february 15th this year 70 of the healthcare workers have been taken into custody including dr Taima is the chief of surgery. We work together, as well as Dr. Kali Dalshir. There are witnesses from the same detention facility uh, reporting they are being tortured. So doctors should be released and healthcare workers should be released uh, without any torture or abuse. Thank you. And thank you so much for your service going there and risking your life to save the lives. Thank you.